So we're going to be doing databases. Database we're going to use is MySQL, which is installed on all the computers in R4U. There are different ways to uh, manage your MySQL databases. We've got a piece of software currently installed called Navicap. We'll use this for now. So if you find it, Navicap Premium Essentials. Uh, licensing is in flux. Just go trial. Seems to work for now and we don't want to check for updates. Um, we need to add a connection to the database because Navicat isn't the actual database, it's just like a database manager. So we need to say, please connect to the database which is currently running on this computer. It's a MySQL database. We'll give it a good name, MySQL. Doesn't actually matter what you call it there. Uh, none of these details will change. Password is 13com capitals really important to get that right and if you click ok you should see mysql and then if you double click the connection there's probably some databases already sitting there which is um, stuff from previous people because this is actually saved on this computer it's an important point of course because if you move computer you'll lose the database which exists we'll deal with that later just for now we'll stay sitting at the same computer shall we so if i right click on the connection i can do a new database which i'm going to call um, students because we're going to do a little student database click ok go to students tables there are no tables i'm going to make a new table it's going to be called tbl students in a moment we need i'm just going to go with like three fields for the moment so the first field is going to be an id field and we're going to make an integer remember when we did databases before we always had a primary key field it's going to be the key the primary key and it's going to be auto increment every table you make should have that in fact i'm going to go a step further and say that it's going to be student id just find that easier to work with when i'm doing relationships and queries and so on then i need another field which is going to be a last name and this is going to be a text field varchar is uh it will actually do it's 255 characters that'll do and uh, another field is going to be first name and that's also going to be a varchar no keys no auto increments we'll just set up obviously you can choose many different things here we'll talk about that another time but we're, we're done that'll do so if i click save it'll ask me what i want to call it i'm going to call it tbl students okay so now i've got a table with no data in it so if i go to view here oh no hang about tables tbl students yeah something like that anyway and i'm going to give it a last this person a last name so it's going to be a certain mr blogs first name is going to be joe and then i'm going to tick down here that worked add another student by clicking clicking the plus and uh, this is going to be uh, simple last name is simon simple and again tick so I've now got two pieces of data, last name, first name, as well as their auto-incremented student ID, which is the primary key. And I can now hop out of Navicat and access that directly from Flask. And that's another video.